We have been talking about all the cast members on the show Harlem on Amazon Prime and today we are going to get into Quinn and we're going to talk about this from a licensed therapist perspective. Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Keandra Jackson here, licensed marriage and family therapist. If you're new, hey, if you're returning, thank you so much for being here. We're gonna talk about Quinn because we have already broken down all of the other cast members. So if you wanna watch those videos, make sure to do so. Angie, Ian and Camille, Ty, we broke all of them down. But for this one, we're specifically talking about Quinn, who is played by Ace. I believe her last name is pronounced Byers. From what I gathered about Quinn, Quinn is well established. She is an entrepreneur. She has her own like boutique and all of those things. She comes from a two parent home. She has a good, a really good relationship with her father. The one with her mama, not so much, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. And it seems like she has this really great package on the outside. She's well put together. You can tell she got a little bit of coin, okay, because her apartment is lit. I mean, she has so many amazing opportunities that is right in front of her, but there's some things that I wanna talk to you guys and bring light to that was so powerful in these episodes and it made it so relatable. The thing that I noticed with Quinn is that she's having a bit of like an identity crisis around her sexual orientation. So she believes that she identifies with the LGBTQI plus community because she had her first lesbian relationship, which ended, and she was real depressed and sad and all of that stuff. And we're also gonna talk about that in this video as well. But it felt like to me that she was doing too much in regards to this, meaning she was trying to over relate to the community. Literally when she was about to go on her first date and she was talking to all of her girlfriends about it. And she was like, I'm going on my first lady date. <laughs> Ty was like, don't call it the lady day, you know? And when she wanted to go to the pride parade, she overdid it with so many different colors. She had a rainbow wig and a rainbow, everything was rainbow. It's like, girl, you don't have to overdo it to identify with a particular community. And so that made me question if she was really lesbian, bisexual, pansexual, or what that looks like for her. And if she's continuing to explore that, that's perfectly fine. But I do think that this is something that she needs to dig a little bit deeper to because if not, and she doesn't know how she identifies, it's going to be hard for her to navigate all of the relationships that she has or will continue to have in the future. The next thing that I wanna talk about is how this breakup that she had with, from her first lesbian relationship impacted her life. Now, going through a breakup is hard let's be real if you've ever been in through a breakup you know it's very emotional it's a lot everything that she was experiencing felt very accurate but then I started to notice that things got extended right the crying became more and more the separation and the isolation she didn't even go to her parents I believe their anniversary party or something she didn't even show up to that because she was so sad right and notice that this was an extended amount of grief and loss right because when you in the relationship you also experience grief and loss and so I was like she's dealing with something deeper here definitely dealing with something deeper and so when this became prolonged and people i.e her friends started to get concerned about her introduced the concept of medication in these episodes i was like yes come on producers whoever wrote this script is killing it because it really just shed light on such a powerful thing especially in the black community that we don't talk about around mental health around depression and needing medication and how it's perfectly fine and okay for you to do so if you need it and so to introduce medication and introducing it in a positive way, I my heart was so happy, y'all. It was so happy. And I, and I know that Quinn was originally reluctant to take the medication because she was fearful about, you know, how is it gonna make me feel? And I don't know. And, you know, I wanna do something more natural and all of those things, which are valid reasons that I have heard from my own clients who are on medication or who need medication. These are real fears and real stigmas around medication, but it comes from a lack and a misinformation about what medication can do for you if you are experiencing depression. And so the fact 
fact that her homegirls rallied around her and was like, no girl, you need to go ahead and fill that prescription. Go ahead and start taking that <laughs> because we don't like how you've been. You haven't been yourself and this isn't you. And so when they went on their girls trip and all of them were around and Angie had enough sense, you know, her and Angie are besties, right? Angie had enough bestie sense to call Quinn's mother and to pull up on them in Puerto Rico and to have a candid conversation about this very thing. So when Quinn and her mom sat down, I was like, ooh, how is this conversation gonna go? Because we know they don't have the best history. Okay, Quinn's mom is a lot. I was so sad for Quinn when Quinn was at the Pride Parade and her mother wind up being there as well, helping you know her ex-girlfriend at their little booth or whatever, which is wild to me. But Quinn tried to give her mom a hug. And her mom was like, oh, oh no, like don't hug me. You know, I was like, oh, that has to be a dagger to the heart for your mom not to want to hug you. And so it really just shed light on some of the deeper issues that they had in their relationship around attachment, around connection, around safety, right? This is supposed to be your primary caregiver that you were supposed to learn love and affection from. And if it's being withheld from you as an adult, I can't even imagine how she was treated as a child. And so I see why she kind of leans a little bit, you know, over to her father and having that deeper connection with him because she feels like he gets her, that he doesn't judge her like mommy does. She be, mommy be making all the, oh, you look like you gained a little weight. Oh, you're lonely. So let me hook you up with this random dude. Like overstepping all of the boundaries and saying all of the mean and hurtful things. How can you have a connection with your mom when it's that way? So to get back to the whole Puerto Rico situation where mommy and Quinn had a sit down, it was really beautiful. It went as I expected it to go in the best way possible when her mom shed light that her dad experiences depression and that he takes medication and that it helps him and that it runs on her dad's side of the family. I was like, Ooh, this is so good, right? Because we think that depression, especially in the black community, we think oh, depression is an isolated event. But if your mama had depression and your mama's mama had depression and your mama's 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 had depression, there's a increased likelihood that you will experience depression because it runs in your family. Think about the same way how high blood pressure, diabetes, a certain type of cancer can run in your family. Depression and mental health issues can run in your family as well. So to shed light on that and to say, wow, this is something that I didn't do on my own. I didn't do this to myself. I'm not broken. This is just something that we have been dealing with for generations was very eye opening to me. Her mom to say, if you need the medication boo, take it because your daddy do it and it works wonders for him and our marriage, then go for it. I think she needed that additional push and that additional love from her, her support system and her mom. And I think that it really shed light on how black families, families of colors keep secrets too much, right? If Quinn would have known that depression runs on her dad's side of the family, I can guarantee you that she would have responded a lot differently and a lot sooner, right? And not have been beating herself up and doing all of the things. And she probably would have took that medication immediately after her and her boo broke up. So I really wish that people are watching this and thinking, let's be more honest about the things that are are going on in our family. Let's be honest about the things that are in our bloodline. Let's be honest about the things that our parents and our grandparents and our great grandparents have struggled with because those things and knowing those things can help me navigate where I am in my life currently today. No matter what Quinn does, right? Because she did take the medication and she started to feel better. I think she's still navigating her relationships. And I really do hope that she finds true love because she deserves it, right? It's like she's a successful woman and she's looking for that love. So hopeful that she will find it. So thank you for watching another review on the Amazon Prime show called Harlem. You watch all the other videos of what I had to say about the other cast mates and listen, if you like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Stay around for more videos like this. See you later.